The cooling tower fan blades are powered by an induction motor coupled to a drive shaft and gearbox. In this case study, we'll analyze the damage to the pinion gear and explore the root cause of this failure, along with the corrective measure taken. To jump into the conclusion first, the problem of gear damage was solved by increasing the drive shaft diameter by twice. The root cause of the gearbox teeth damage can be traced back to a large torsional vibration during the motor startup. To ascertain this conclusion, a strain gauge was installed on the drive shaft to monitor the torsional vibrations. As depicted in the below figure, significant torque was recorded by the strain gauge during the motor startup. The red line represents the motor speed, while the green line illustrates the corresponding strain and torque. It's evident that as motor accelerates from zero speed to 1500 RPM, torque steadily increases. Around the motor maximum speed, torque also reaches the maximum value. Once motor reaches its maximum speed, torque decreases and stabilizes. As recorded by the strain gauge, the persistent high torque vibrations during the motor startup gradually leads to gear damage and eventually a gear failure. To mediate the substantial motor startup torque, the diameter of the drive shaft has been doubled. This increasing in diameter resulted in reduced deflection of the drive shaft as it becomes stiffer, consequently minimizing the movement transferred to the gearbox. The graph illustrates this comparison. The green data represents the original slender drive shaft, whereas the red data represents the larger drive shaft implemented after the fix. The stiffness can be inferred from the natural frequency. Higher natural frequency indicates greater stiffness in the part. So the larger diameter drive shaft has higher natural frequency because it is stiffer. By enlarging the diameter of the drive shaft, the peak-to-peak -peak measured transmitted torque is diminished. Again, the green data represents the original slender drive shaft, while the red data depicts the larger, upgraded drive shaft. Consequently, this reduction in transmitted torque correlates with the decrease in measured gearbox vibration. As a result, the issue of gear damage has been effectively resolved. Also, induction motors for cooling tower fans should be carefully selected to avoid their steep slope of torque curve. In other words, motors with relatively flat torque curve are preferred. The conventional cooling tower fan design encompasses the drive shaft and gearbox. But also, direct drive cooling tower fan design is also available in the market. This video is based from the paper authored by Akira Adachi and Dr. Brian Murphy, a highly esteemed figure in the field of rotor dynamics. Dr. Brian Murphy's expertise is widely recognized, and I personally also admire his work. This is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos.